Hey guys, and warm welcome back to the channel. So we are finally going to do our ephemera journals. I've been buying stuff and collecting stuff and cutting things up the last several months just to kind of get ready to have a nice stock of stuff so I have, you know, multiple things to pick from. Um, I finally got my little journals in the mail, which I showed you guys in the last video. Um, but today I figured, um, before I start doing like the little shorts with uh, the inside papers, because those will take a very small amount of time, I thought I'd give you a, a sneak peek as to how I'm really gonna do things, but with the front and back covers, because obviously we need something cute. Um, I did get these off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below because I had some people ask me about it last time. Um, but yeah, so I thought we would do a little chat while we work on these. I did kind of go ahead and pre-select some stuff because I wasn't really sure how long this was going to take me and, you know, I've got a timer going just to kind of get the feel for when I start to make the uh, short versions of this. So, um, for this journal specifically, I really wanted some outdoorsy, you know, heavily goblin core visuals because that is mostly what we'll be doing in these journals, but, you know, we'll branch out every now and then too. I really love these pieces uh, from the magazine that I found, just some like trees and, you know, like a foggy, misty morning situation. So my husband is still gone. We are expecting him back first of next week sometime. Um, I should know a little bit sooner rather than later when that day will actually be. Um, the military doesn't like to give you exacts because, you know, that can be dangerous. Um, typically, that's for like deployments and stuff, but we'll, we'll stick to it for this too, just in case. Um, but anyway, so sometime next week, his birthday is on Monday, so I'm not sure if he'll be back before then or not, but I've got some, some plans for him. I th we wanted to go parasailing or paragliding. Are they two different things? I honestly can't remember now that I'm thinking about it, but uh, we wanted to do that for his birthday this year, but obviously because he will be gone, we're going to try to come up with another time or just something else to do for a little birthday celebration. Um, I am going to bake him a cake and make him some beef wellington. I've never actually made it before, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm pretty excited. So this is going to be my front and this is going to be my back. Um, I picked out a cute little quote that I liked uh, about mushrooms because, you know, mushrooms are amazing. Put lots of little layers. Some nice little layers going on. Um, but I picked out a quote that I like and it has a couple little like sayings and stuff on it. 
sprout new ideas, stay well-rounded, and be down to earth. All things that we can learn from a mushroom. I think that's super cute. Um, all right, we'll wait on this to see if that's how we want to complete it or not. I've been wanting to use this really pretty So I got really wrapped up in what I was doing and I just completely stopped talking for that last little bit. So I thought I would voice over the end real quick. Um, here I am putting things back into the front and back cover. I think it turned out really cute. Pretty simple, maybe a little more simpler than I was 
originally planning, but I really like it. And then one of the things I wanted to do with these is over time when I begin to amass a collection, I'd like to have them numbered. So, and I think I saw this on somebody else's little like TikToks of these. Um, I would love some brass numbers that have been punched and it's like really, you know, vintage looking, but for now I'm going to number them with these little tags and I decided after this video that I was going to add a sticker to one side, so I just started numbering it 001, that way we can work our way up. And then when they're on a the shelf, they'll all have their numbers and I'll know which ones I completed when. I'm also going to date them on the insides at some point. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of these, they are mostly going to end up as shorts, but like I said in the previous video, I will add them all together and do a compilation eventually. But until next time, I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye guys!